Good morning, y'all. It's Joe, and I'm back again with uh, another stories from the patrol car, where uh, we kind of relate uh, stories and events from our lives to vehicles that were involved at the time. Uh, today's kind of a, a two-part deal uh, that all relates to uh, some shenanigans with tennis balls. So. Uh, but the first part I'll go ahead and tell you now, and I'll do another one here later on. The, uh, the, the gist of it is that back in the day, I, I worked at a service station. This, this is back when they had, they still had actual full service gas stations. Uh, it was a, a little one man operate, well, I won't, it's not one man operate, one owner operation. It was a Chevron station in the town of Carefree, Arizona. Uh, this would have been in the mid 1980s. Uh, the owner, uh, Walt Aberg, was a crusty old fart, but uh, he, he gave me an opportunity. Uh, he, he saw me hanging out with my friends at his business. He said, you know, if you're going to hang out here, you might as well be working for me. I might as well just go ahead and pay you because you're here all the time. And so I, I lucked myself into a job there. Uh, he, he had uh, two full-service pumps and two self-service pumps, uh, lift bay, uh, mechanic uh, part-time mechanic that was there and uh, we, we did oil changes we did mountain balance on tires uh, shock absorbers he like I said he had a, a, a mechanic there that actually went ahead and did uh, major repair work and so it was a lot of fun uh, at the time my friend Gary his sister worked at the pro shop over at the carefree inn and uh, at, at the tennis courts and so she had access to baskets upon baskets of practice tennis balls. And, you know, the old flat balls, obviously, they, they took those out of use or they used them for practice. And uh, somehow uh, it, it seemed that uh, there was a few of them that managed to go ahead and make it into our possession. And so one afternoon we're working. Uh, it's a weekend, so Walt's not around. And, you know, when the boss is away, the kids will play. So... Uh, we're, we're goofing off with these tennis balls at the gas station. I'll tell you right now, it's amazing we did not burn down or blow up the service station. Um, old tennis balls and starter fluid? Uh, you know, let's play catch with flaming tennis balls in a gas station. Great plan. And of course, you know, one of the tennis balls, Butterfingers me, drops the ball it goes rolling out of the office door to the gas lanes <laughs> god must love me because that place did not blow up and goodness knows there's potential for it uh later on that same afternoon uh we'd gone ahead and taken one of the tennis balls and cut a slice in it uh, like we'd done previously to go ahead and fill with starter fluid Except this one uh, ended up in the tailpipe of a certain F-150 pickup truck that used to frequent the station. Back at the time, Rural Metro Fire Service was branching out into uh, security patrols as well. Now, Rural Metro was a subscription fire service. Uh, Carefree and Cave Creek didn't have their own fire departments, uh, not a volunteer fire department, not a regional fire department. It was a subscription service. Uh, if you had a, a fire of any kind, they would come out. If you were a subscriber, you didn't get a bill for it. If you weren't a subscriber, you got a bill for everything. And so it was a pretty lucrative business. The security end of it, they had this uh, uh, safety green little F-150, 300 inline six. And uh, they would go ahead patrol areas, uh, you know, neighborhoods. Uh, for the account holders, kind of like uh, the other alarm services at that time in that area, because th this is rural Arizona, uh, north of Phoenix. Um, homes could be half a mile apart or more sometimes. And so you, if you were a subscriber, they would go ahead and have an alarm system in your house. If the alarm went off, they'd go ahead and respond to it, check, make sure everything's okay, make sure nobody's breaking in, that type of deal. And a lot of these guys were also um, sheriff's posse members, so they're armed um, 
volunteer police officers uh, for Maricopa County Sheriff's Office. And as such, I mean, Arizona at that time, uh, there was no discussion of concealed carry, open carry, no permitting of any kind. Arizona, from the days of the territory, was open carry. It was no big deal to see some old timer wander into the bank with a six gun on his hip. Nobody thought twice about it. Nobody thought, oh my God, he's gonna rob the bank, he's got a gun. No, this is normal everyday Arizona in the 1980s. And so, um, one of the security officers comes rolling in and he is gonna stop at the gas station, get a snack and whatnot, and Gary set the hook. He starts talking with the, the security officer, says, hey, you know, how's the truck running today? Well, well, fine, why do you ask? Well, hey, Raleigh was in earlier and he said that uh, it was just running like crap. Uh, you know, I, I don't know. He said he had to floor it a couple times and it finally cleared up. Well, in the meanwhile, this tennis ball that had been sliced down the middle gets folded down and stuffed up the tailpipe of this F-150. Now the F-150 is parked in front of the gas station and there's this little uh, uh, block or brick retaining wall around a, a planter bed right in front of, the, of the, the service station. And it's about three feet away. Well, the security officer goes ahead and gets his snack and his soft drinks and everything, goes back to the truck, fires it up, and is, is running like hammered dog shit. You know, the, the, the tailpipe's jammed up, but he doesn't know it. And so, you know, he's doing what Gary told him Raleigh had done earlier in the shift. He's out there just revving away at the engine, revving away at the engine, trying to get this thing to clear. Meanwhile, there's two unsuspecting customers, older couple, walking between the truck and the retaining wall where this tailpipe is pointed. And all I can picture is, oh my God, this thing's gonna shoot out and it's either gonna A, scare the sh out of them, or B, it's gonna hit them. Either way, this isn't good for us. And so Gary's like, oh, no, 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 no. He, he waves, waves the security officer off for a minute. Let me take a look at it. So, you know, Gary opens the hood, feigns looking at the motor and everything else. And, uh, you know, Gary's not doing anything under the hood other than stalling so this couple gets out of harm's way. And so this, this went on for a few minutes and okay, yeah, I, hey, I can't figure it out. The couple's gone. Gary goes ahead and shuts the hood. The officer goes ahead, fires the truck up one more time and it's still running like dog crap. And so the security officer goes ahead and pulls out onto to the, the highway in front of the gas station. And he's just foot deep. Uh, his, his toes are tickling the fan and he's just going for it. You know, uh, straight to the ketchup, as uh, Peg would say. And so he's just hammering away on this thing. And all of a sudden there's enough pressure in the exhaust system. This tennis ball shoots kabam out the tailpipe and goes skipping off into the desert. And we just go back off to the, the, the service station. You ain't gonna look like a bunch of schoolgirls. It was hilarious. And so that is Tess Ball Shenanigans episode one. Uh, part two, uh, th there's a whole nother event uh, and another service station involved. So um, come back, check that one out. Uh, if, if you like what you see, go ahead and, and click the like. If, if you got comments on this stuff anything you want to add feel free uh, I, I'm doing this for the heck of it uh, I, I figure some folks might go and get enjoyment out of it if you like it great if you don't hey you know what there's other channels there's other content uh, the World Wide Web is full of stuff check it on out do what you want to do y'all be safe have fun be good to each other and uh, we'll catch you next time this is Joe uh, from Tales from the Patrol Car we'll talk to you later <laughs>